Hi, my name is Pranay and I work with an organization called Advanced Innovation Group. Through this video of ours, we would want to help you understand how do you conduct process capability analysis using Minitab. One of the preliminary requirements of process capability is that your data is normally distributed. So step one would be to check whether your data is normal or non-normal. Let's say for example, my matrix under observation is C2 or production quantity. The first thing that I would need to do is I would need to check whether my data is normally distributed or not. So I go to stats, basic stats, normality test. I give it the data C2, press OK. I see that my data is non-normal. If you, if you can see here, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, meaning that my data is non-normal, and it is very evident from how it looks. Now, if I were to calculate process capability, I would first need to transform my data. So you go to Stats, Quality Tools, Capability Analysis for Normal Data. Click. Give it the data that you that you would want to calculate the process capability for. Let's say C2 is my data. My subgroup size is 1. You furnish the LSL, USL, whatever is available to you. In this case, product, uh, production quantity being my metric, I have been given a lower specification limit by my business of 200 kilograms. I furnish lower spec, I click transform, I check box cox power transformation. By default it uses use optimal lambda unless you have a sound understanding of lambda values and how it operates it is advisable not to change this. Press OK, press OK again, here you go. Minitab has calculated your process capability. Here in this case it is saying if you see on, on your button here it is saying PPM total 0, 0.0 parts per million the def defect per million opportunity is currently is 0 because I have not been very careful in giving it to the target hence it is saying my process is completely capable. I hope this video helps.